Native grasslands are very important to our farm and how we operate. They're essential to the ecosystem to provide habitat for our wildlife, but also to provide nutritious food for our cattle. We have a lot of acres that have been untouched except by livestock, and that's because there is area where there's a creek that runs through our farm, and it's always been grazed. And what we're trying to do now is to set that up on a better rotational grazing system to allow better resting periods in between those paddocks to help to bring back more native species to these grasslands to try and get some of those species that aren't so desirable under control and to bring back those native species that are so important to the ecosystem in those areas. The late 90s, early 2000s, uh, the weather changed in this part of the world and we became very wet versus very dry back in the 70s and 80s. And so it was mostly just managing the water. What, what can we do with our crop rotations in our management system to be able to handle the water and use it efficiently? It was pretty simple to figure out how to use those acres because the technology that we were using of yield mapping and zone mapping, we knew the unproductive parts of our cropland and what needed to be changed. We were allowing the data to tell us. Even though we could see it ourselves, having that second opinion of, okay, here's, here's the yield maps that we can tell where it's profitable and not. This is the area on the field where we need to uh, make a change. And so we, in I think seven different parcels on the farm, put in the CRP. Uh, it took probably three to five years for it to fully establish, and, and since then, it, uh, it turned out great. We took care of the possible erosion that was happening and the salinity issues, and now, because of that, we're more profitable on those acres, as well as the cropland acres, because our APHs have increased because we're not spending money on acres that we're producing essentially zero because of the water issues and it's an area that they haven't farmed since and probably will be areas that they will keep uh, set aside for wildlife and, and uh, on into the future. The areas of our farm that have never been touched as farm ground, they're native grasslands that we use as, as pasture for our livestock. Um, we use those areas in a rotational grazing pattern. We just try to keep it healthy and just watch where we put cows in it because you don't want to like overgraze it. We're constantly watching um, how much stand of grass is left, um, monitoring moisture and rainfall to determine whether or not um, we should be moving cattle on or off of those pieces. So it's very important to us to keep those native prairie pieces um, thriving and being successful on our farm. My mom and dad taught me about the grasses and forbs and shrubs. So I found in our pasture that we have side oats grama, blue grama grass, um, crested wheat grass, um, buffalo grass, um, and uh, annual brome and smooth brome. Those are the ones that I see the most. We kind of have it all over in the pasture. Sometimes it takes a couple of years. Sometimes it takes more than one or two or three tries to get it right, to figure it out, you know. But I always say everybody's trying to do their best. I'm not going to judge people on what they do or don't do. Um, but this is what works for us and this is our story.